Hello students, happy Friday to you. This is Miss Louise coming to you from my reading house. And today we're going to do a nonfiction text. And I know the weekend's coming. And I know that we have been in the house seem like forever. So I wanted to read a text today to just give you some information. But I love the title. It says, hang on monkey. I want you to hang on, students. We're going to get through this, okay? So let's learn some facts about some different types of monkeys today. All right? So let me move all of this out of the way. And we're going to start on our book. Okay? Hang on, monkey. And we're going to, hear, we're going to try to hear at least one fact about each monkey that we read about, okay? Here we go. Hang on, monkey! By Susan Newman. Okay, the first monkey we see is a golden lion tamarind. And it says, hang on, monkey! And one of the facts about this type of monkey, it lives in Brazil, and guess what? It usually gives birth to twins. So usually when they have a baby, they have more than one, and they have twins. Okay? Now when we look over here, this is our vocabulary tree. And we know today the subject for this nonfiction book is monkeys and it's facts. So you're going to see real live photographs. Photographs that were taken by camera. Because this is facts. Okay? Nonfiction. So what we're going to learn about monkeys, we're going to learn where they live. I might say a couple of things about what they eat and what they do. So we know that most of these monkeys in this story, they live in the rainforest, grassy place, on the ground, and in the trees. They love to hang, sit, live, play, climb, and leap. And the things that they eat are bananas, flowers, and insects. Okay? So we know that this monkey, the golden lion tamarind, lives in Brazil, and when it gives birth, it usually has two at one time. Let's go to our next monkey. Oh, wow. Look at the length of those arms. This monkey hangs on a tree, and it lives in a rainforest. And this monkey is called the Northern Marquis. And he lives in Africa. Now, he is one of the largest monkeys from the New World monkeys. And believe it or not, I know he looks very tall, but he's shorter than what they look, especially when they're hanging on a tree because they have such long arms. Okay? And where does he live? In Africa. So we pretty much believe that this photo was taken in Africa. Okay? Let's go to the next monkey. Hang on, monkey. It says, oh, look at this. These monkeys live in a grassy, open place. And the name of this monkey is a vervet monkey. And he lives in the southern part of Africa. And guess one of the things that, that I like about these monkeys? They communicate like humans. So they're very social. They talk to each other. And when they see that it's danger, they do an alarming call to warn their families that danger is near. And there's some in the trees. But you see they live in very grassy areas. Okay? Let's go to the next one. Sorry about the camera. Okay, look at these monkeys. These monkeys are called proboscis monkeys or proboscis monkeys. Monkeys, these monkeys live and they play together. Now, these monkeys you will find in Indonesia. That's somewhere in Asia, bottom of Asia. And these monkeys have very long noses. They kind of turn to the side, but I wanted you to get a look at their nose. And their nose can be used 
as a honking. It helps them to make this honking noise. And that's how they communicate. Okay? All right? And you can see they probably live in the trees. All right, let's look at this monkey. This is a snow monkey. And they say some um, monkeys live on the ground. So I can imagine that this one probably likes to walk around in the snow. And he lives in Japan. And they say that these monkeys are very smart. The snow monkeys are one of the monkeys that they wash their food before they eat. Just like we're telling you to wash your hands. These monkeys wash their food before they eat. And look at this little cute little fella. He's a French leaf monkey. And he loves to live in the trees. I think I pronounced that right. And these monkeys, this species right here, guess what? The females lead in this species. And they like to live on cliffs and in caves. And I see he's up in the tree. So I guess they come out to eat. Because they eat leaves. Yes, they do. They eat leaves. And where do they live? In China. Okay, let's look at our next group of monkeys. These are the golden lion tamarins. Oh, they do kind of favor a lion, don't they? And they are small monkeys. Okay? These are very small monkeys. And we learned about those already. These are the ones that have twins. When they give birth. Now let's look over here. Oh, what does this monkey remind you of? The Lion King, yes. This is the this is the mandrill monkey, and they are big monkeys, okay? They live in Africa, and they are uh, uh they are probably one of the largest of all monkeys, okay? Now you see those bright colors on their faces. They have those on their behind also. And the bright colors, when they get excited, the colors get even brighter. They have very big canine teeth, about two inches long. And in their cheeks, they have pouches in their teeth where they can save snacks for later. <laughs> yeah, they can put snacks in their cheeks. Okay, let's go to our next monkey. This is a red howler monkey, and they love to climb. Okay? Now, the red howler monkey, they um they use their tail as an extra arm. So their tails are so long that they can actually grab hold of things to help them climb. Now, we talked about this monkey. It says leap monkey. This was the monkey with the long nose, remember? The proboscis monkey, the proboscis monkey. Let's go to our next monkey. I need to put the picture on him when I'm turning the page. We talked about the snow monkey. It says monkeys like to eat, right? And they like to eat anything that smells good. So I'm pretty sure that the fruit that they eat smells very good, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna go to our next monkey and see what he likes. Yep, hang on monkey, hang on monkey. Okay, let's look at him. This is a long-tailed macaku, and he's from Indonesia. And believe it or not, in this species, the males have mustaches and cheek whiskers. But guess what? The females have beards and cheek whiskers. So, you know, we here, if we humans, we don't want our women to have beards. But in this species of monkey, they don't mind. Let's go to our next monkey. Oh, a nice black and white monkey. And they say that they eat bananas, flowers, and even insects. And this monkey is an Angola colobus monkey. And he lives in Africa. And when 
these monkeys right here, when they're born, they are completely white. And they also have very small thumbs. And they say that their thumbs are so small so that they won't get in the way of them climbing. Yes, very small thumbs. They didn't really show it, but that's what that, that's the fact that I read about. Let's go to our next monkey. And this monkey, these are called squirrel monkeys. And this is the last species that we're going to talk about. And they're from South America. Now, these squirrel monkeys are very small. They're so small that they can sit on the smallest branch of a tree. And they move very quickly. Yeah, like a squirrel. And they use their tail. Instead of tail to climb, the tail helps them balance. Because they move so quickly on some very, very small branches. Okay. That's the last species of monkey that we're going to give a fact about. But the last page is showing us more squirrel monkeys. And they say monkeys like to hang around. And it says, hang on, monkey. And that's what we want you to do. We want you to hang on in there. Okay? Now, I wanted to show you. They showed you the map in this book, which is a nice book. Nice non-fiction non text. And it shows you the world, and it tells you every place where these monkeys come from. Yep. Monkey habitat, man. Habitat means where you live. Monkeys live all over the world, and here's where these monkeys live. I tried to tell you everywhere where they live. And then they say, it's your turn. So now I want you to act like a monkey. I want you to tell me, where do you live? What do you do? And what do you eat? And that's our story for today. And I want you to hang on in there because this will be over soon. And I also want you to wash your hands and have a great weekend. And I'll read to you on Monday. Bye-bye from my reading house, Miss Louise.